What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Teaching Trends, and I'm going to be teaching you all about those great medical things, anything that has to do with remote jobs, working from home, and really doing something different with your careers and skills. To all of those who have come here before, welcome back. And for those of you who are visiting me for the first time, thanks so much for visiting. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about blood flow. When we talk about blood flow, we're going to learn about the different parts and the anatomy of the heart as well. The way blood flows, blood goes from the heart to the lungs, back to the heart, and then out to the body. So we're going to talk about this today. If we're looking at these arteries and vessels and veins outside of the heart, these are some of the major arteries that support the heart and blood flow and also supply the heart with its oxygen. Remember, the heart needs its own oxygen in order to continue to work to circulate blood throughout the body. So those tiny little article, those little, little vessels or arteries and veins that you see that are blue and red on the front part and the side of the heart, those are your coronary arteries. Those Coronary arteries actually feed the heart muscle its oxygen. The atria you see are the top chambers and the ventricles are the bottom chambers. We'll be talking about the vena cava and the aorta very soon. So when we talk about blood flow, we're going to start with where the blood comes in, how the blood comes in, and while doing that, talk about the different parts of the heart. So when blood comes back from the body, it's all used up of its nutrients and it is unoxygenated blood. That unoxygenated blood enters to the right atrium. You'll see the right atrium circled there in yellow. Those arrows that you see at the top, superior vena cava, and at the bottom, the inferior vena cava, they both drop off that unoxygenated blood into the right atrium. From the right atrium, that unoxygenated blood goes through the tricuspid valve. Tricuspid, because it has three sections on that valve. The next section, as you see, the unoxygenated blood from the tricuspid valve goes to the right ventricle. Remember that tricuspid valve that we saw in between the right atrium and the right ventricle, allows so that blood does not backflow. So this unoxygenated blood is flowing from those vena cava to the right atrium to the right ventricle. From the right ventricle, that unoxygenated blood goes up towards the pulmonary valve and that blood after the pulmonary valve goes into the pulmonary artery. If you look at the up arrow there, that's where the blood is going up towards that pulmonary artery. Then out to either sides of that heart, which are going to attach to the lungs. Pulmonary stands for lungs and respiratory system. So we know inside of the lungs, this unoxygenated blood is going there so that it can exchange gas. We are dropping off the carbon dioxide which makes it unoxygenated, and trying to pick up more oxygen. This is called pulmonary circulation. The pulmonary circulation takes place in the alveoli. They are the lungs capillaries that exchange oxygen for carbon dioxide. After the blood comes back from the lungs and pulmonary circulation, and it exchanges the gas, it is now oxygenated. So remember, that right side of the heart is unoxygenated. We've gone to the lungs and the alveoli to pick up the oxygen. And now we are oxygenated in the left atrium. So the left side of the heart has oxygenated blood. That oxygenated blood enters the left atrium by the four pulmonary veins. And you see on the sides where those arrows are, where the pulmonary veins are. Once the blood goes through from the pulmonary veins to the left atrium, the oxygenated blood goes through the bicuspid mitral valve. 
bicuspid because it has two sections on that valve, but it is also called the mitral valve. That oxygenated blood goes from the tricuspid valve to that left ventricle, mitral valve, I should say, mitral bicuspid valve to the left ventricle. And from that left ventricle, the oxygenated blood flows up towards the aortic valve to the aorta. The aorta is the largest artery of the body and it's responsible for spreading that oxygen rich blood throughout the body. Also know that the left ventricle is the thickest and largest muscle there. That's gonna be the part of the heart that's gonna pump the most because it effectively is gonna have that pressure to pump on the left ventricle to get that blood towards the aorta and out to the body. We now have that oxygenated blood that is carried throughout the body and it cycle begins again. As the blood flows out to the body and we get nutrients, this is called systemic circulation. This happens multiple times throughout the day, 60 to 100 times a minute. We have this as our normal heart rate. If you're looking to know more about EKG, electrodes, check out these videos right here.